The third thing that I want to teach you about electric circuits is called resistance. What is resistance? The resistance of a circuit component tells you how difficult it is for electric current to flow through it. In fact, everything has resistance. It's not just the components of a circuit that have resistance. Now, basically we can classify things into electrical conductors and electrical insulators. Electrical conductors, as you know, can conduct electricity. So, an electrical conductor will have low resistance. But an electrical insulator, which doesn't allow electric current to flow through it, it will have high resistance. This is what the resistance of something means. Just like electric current and voltage, resistance also has a unit. The unit is the ohm. The symbol is a grid letter. It is small omega. There is a type of circuit component that is used to supply resistance. The symbol for this circuit component is a rectangle with a wire on each side. This component is called a resistor. Now, why do you want to have resistors in a circuit? That is, why do you want to have resistance in a circuit? Now, as I mentioned just now, the resistance of a circuit component is how difficult it is for electric current to flow through it. The greater the resistance in a circuit, the smaller the current flowing through it. The smaller the resistance of a circuit, the greater is the current flowing through it. In other words, by controlling the resistance in a circuit, we control the current in a circuit. That is why we use resistance to control the current in the circuit.